Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash today I fucked up. But first let's play r slash drunk or a kid, where I give you a real life scenario and you guess whether it was a drunk or a kid. This one was posted by Raptors on Bikes. Put to bed early, but I was overexcited and started jumping on my bed, screaming, I'm Spider-Man, I'm Spider-Man, while trying to evade capture from being put to sleep. But what do we think? Is this a drunk or a kid? Find out at the end of the video. Now back to r slash today I fucked up, where Robomate posted this. Today I fucked up by not looking down before I sat down. Floor 8 of the place of my employment. Inside, the men shitter. I'm sitting there, doing my sit-down business because boss makes a dollar, I make a dime. I've just finished the dirty work and I'm about to form my ablutions. But I delay it because it's a pay-to-shit thing. Dicking around on Reddit a bit. At this point, I feel something jump onto my balls. Something I had never hoped I would ever experience, let alone talk about on the internet. I shriek. Not a barbarian shriek. Not a viking shriek. Psycho shower scene shriek. A huntsman spider has crawled out of the toilet bowl and jumped onto my low hanging fruit. I bat the spider off, smacking myself in the nuts. Keel over in pain. Spider dead. Good news. My banshee wail has not gone unanswered. Bad news. Someone comes into the bathroom and knocks on the stall door. Mate, are you alright? Have you fallen over? I'll call an ambulance. No, fine. Everything is good. Just slipped. Fine. No need to call an ambulance. You can leave now. I flush the world's smallest sexual predator to try and retain some of my inner pride. Wash my hands and make the very long walk back to my desk. My manager's desk isn't too far from the bathrooms and he comes up to me afterwards. What happened in there? Is everyone all right? Yeah, everyone's fine. And then I make the dumbest decision of my life and explain to him what just happened and the audacity of the man. He laughs. He laughs so hard he has to sit down so he doesn't hurt himself. His hyena kookaburra hybrid laughter has gotten the attention of some of the other members of my team. They're looking to get in on the funny, funny joke. Boss man wheezes. Get, get him to, to tell them. Holy shit. And because I'm incredibly susceptible to peer pressure, I tell them like a fucking gimp. I'm going to skip past most of the laughter because it went on for what felt like forever. I come back from lunch and boss man and two other members of my team come up to me as I'm sitting back down at my desk, getting ready to get back to work. Boss man is holding a piece of paper. Look, we need to have a chat about something. I've brought two of your friends in the team as support since this is obviously not something that's easy to talk about. I am confused. I have a blank HR report here. I'll need you to fill this out. You confided in me that you were sexually harassed in the workplace and it's my duty of care to make sure the perpetrator is brought to justice. Under the space where it says which hand did they assault you with? Just put times eight. We understand this is a traumatic experience for you and I just want you to know that every resource we have is here for you. Too long and didn't read. I need to fake my own death because I screamed when a spider jumped on my balls while I was on the toilet. Seabeard72 in the comment says, flushing the world's smallest sexual predator and the HR form put this story over the top. This next one is from Max30070. Today I fucked up by trying to be funny and embarrassing myself for every Thanksgiving for the rest of my life. Obligatory, this did not happen today. This happened on Thanksgiving about 15 years ago when I was a young lad. My family always goes to one uncle's house and they have a big basement with a light switch at the top of the stairs. Me, my brother, my sister and my eight cousins always played a game which we called Monster in the Bathroom. 
The game is just hide and seek, but all the lights are out and the people have to make a noise when the seeker asks them to. Also, we never play it in an actual bathroom. No idea why we call it that. So we play a few games. The lights start on so people can find a good place to hide while the seeker stands at the top of the stairs and counts down. When they're finished counting, they turn out the lights and make their way down the stairs to find people. My older cousin was the seeker this game and he's kind of known as the funny one of the bunch so I was presented an opportunity to out humour him. As he was walking down the stairs, I suddenly got the urge to fart. I could tell this was a mammoth of a fart just by feel, so I was dying for him to ask us to make a noise. Finally, as he got to the bottom of the stairs and screams loudly, MAKE A NOISE! trying to get a laugh out of everyone. Not to be outdone, I released the loudest and wettest fart I had ever released in my young life. Every single person hiding burst into a circle laughter, including myself and the seeker. After the laughing died down, I realised my fuck up. My legendary fart was actually a shart, and I had wet shit dripping down my leg. The other fuck up was that even though everyone else stopped laughing after 30 seconds, I couldn't stop. I laughed so hard that I also pissed my pants. My cousin immediately caught me and it was revealed that I had simultaneously shit and pissed my pants. The game ended right there because I had to go upstairs and borrow pants and underwear from my cousin. Now, every single year when my family arrives to Thanksgiving, every cousin comes up to me and yells, Hey Max, make a noise! This has not gotten old to them and I will be arriving at my uncle's house in about two hours. I will undoubtedly be asked to make a noise as it is a Thanksgiving tradition from here till the day I die. Too long didn't read, played a game of hide and seek in the dark, was asked to make a noise, accidentally shit and piss myself. Now I'm reminded of it every Thanksgiving by cousins. Down in the comments Nero61947 says the lesson here, never trust a fart. I would just like to give out a shout out to OP because Thanksgiving is coming up yet again. If I were you, I'd get myself a noisemaker and when they ask you to make a noise, press that fart sound. Now back to r slash drunk or a kid, so who was the person who didn't want to go to bed yet? It was a drunk. 24 drunk at my own birthday party and put to bed around midnight. Did you guess right? Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you've heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.